Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video for you. Um, being a YouTuber um, has opened many doors friendship wise for me this past year. I have made wonderful friends with a lot of ladies here on YouTube. And a couple of months ago, um, a fairly new YouTuber, her name is Christine. Her channel is um, Nails in Arizona. I'm gonna link all of her channels, and her channel and her Instagram and everything in the description bar. Go check her out. Um, we recently connected. She reached out to me and tagged me in an Instagram post and I went and watched one of her videos. And basically, I fell in love with her because she is absolutely adorable. As we've got to know each other a little bit over the last couple of months, we realized we have lots in common. We're huge Harry Potter geeks. Um, we just have lots in common. So, um, for my around my birthday, she was swatching for stashed polish. Her, her swatches are amazing. Go check out her Instagram. She has beautiful nails and her swatch pictures are to die for. Um, she was swatching for stashed polish and I was commenting on her pictures how much I love them and I really wanted to get my hands on the polish. She sent me a message and she said, hey, I know your birthday's already passed, but can I please send them to you for your birthday? And I was quite taken aback by that. And um, we talked back and forth. And anyway, she sent me a late birthday present. Um, Christine, you really did not have to do this. I'm really thankful that you did. I can't wait to see what is in here. I've only opened the, the top of the box and it definitely looks like a lot more than just the stash polishes that we were talking about. Um, so thank you so much. I can't wait to see what you have put in here for me. So the first thing in this box is a letter. I'm gonna read this off camera. Um, because I like to keep those kind of things private, but thank you so much, Christine, for this whole package. It really did not have to do this. Okay, so let's see. What do I see here first? First of all, I see candy bar. Can't go wrong with candy. Thank you so much. I'll enjoy that later on. Um, okay, so I see some peel off base coat and it has a little note on here and it says thought this might help with your swatching just make sure it's completely dry before you polish over it thank you so much I have tried on before and I'm actually very very low so this would be very helpful so thank you so much I love when when um, I get gifts like this they have little sticky notes on just to explain what's going on like this one right here says an introduction to the exciting addiction hoarding <laughs> addiction and hoarding is crossed out love of never enough look at this too super cute i actually don't have any ever a never enough polishes so this will be my first one and it is called Centurite, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, look at the, sh the shimmer in here. This is beautiful. It's like a green one. It's got like a gold shimmer. So pretty. I can't wait to try this. Um, Never Enough is one of those brands that I've wanted to try, but again, with exchangers and stuff like that, it's hard for me to get my hands on them. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Thank you so much, Christine. this one I don't see it has a note on it this is one of the stashed polishes this is Montego can we just for one second just talk about how cute this logo is is this not the cutest logo ever I love this, the logo I had never heard of stash polish until I had um, talk to Christine um, there's such a huge world of indies out there um, that I had never heard of stash polish um, but since I've been talking to Christine and I've been following their their Instagram page, their polishes are absolutely beautiful. And this logo is to die for. So this is Montego and it is a blue and gold glitter, I think. Just, just look at the shimmer running through that. It's like there's some holographic in there too. Yeah, I just, I can't get over how cute this logo is. It's adorable. <laughs> this says, since you're loving stamping, I had an extra New Year's plate. I adore 
Boo you, you London's plates. So this is a New Year's plate. Oh, look at this. This is cute. I will definitely incorporate this into my New Year's manicure. Thank you so much. I haven't tried any of the Moo Yu ones, Moo Yu plates yet. I ordered um, a bunch of Born Pretty plates and they came and uh, this is the stamping that I have on my nails right now is from one of the Born Pretty plates. I'm really enjoying stamping at the moment. This one says, thought you'd like a backup bottle. <laughs> Gassed on and on and on from Morgan Taylor. <laughs> um, Debbie sent this to me for my birthday as well. It's absolutely beautiful polish and I can definitely use a backup of something this beautiful. So thank you so much. What is this? This looks like a cuticle bomb and this is from Lily Ann's Garden. She has talked about that smells good. Lillian's garden before. She has a whole nail care uh, video on her channel that's really, really good. I'll link it down below as well. Um, just talks about how she how she cares for her nails and she does use a lot of this brand's products. Uh, this is in the scent Tinsel. Kind of hard to describe what it smells like. It smells nice though. So I'll try this on my really, really dry cuticles right now. Hopefully it helps. This one here, I think is another one of the stash, yeah, this is another one of the stash polishes. This is called Jamaica. Again, look at this little logo. This one's a holographic one. And this just looks like a lovely blue cream. I can't remember what the name of this collection was. It was something to do with the Caribbean islands. Um, so this is Jamaica. This says, best base coat ever. I can always use a good base coat. So this is from Stash Polish 2 and it's called Over Attached Base Coat. I have heard her talk about this before so I'm definitely looking forward to giving this a try. Um, I just can't get over these logos. They're so cute. They're so cute. And this one says a little lemon glove. Uh oh. What have you been doing Christine? <laughs> Oh, this is a cad lacquer polish. This is nothing burns like the cold. Thank you so much. I love cad lacquer and this is a beautiful, beautiful polish. Thank you very much. This one says beach goals. <laughs> this is called Aruba. Oh, look at this, this green. This is beautiful. And this is like a beautiful deeper green. Again, from Stashed Polish. So this is Aruba from Stashed Polish. Such a beautiful collection. When she posted those pictures originally, I was just drooling all over them. I'm like, I need to know if she ships to Canada because I need to get my hands on this collection. And when she offered to send it to me, I'm like, oh my God, my prayers have been answered. <laughs> so this one is uh, from the collection as well. This is called Bermuda. And this, oh my goodness, look at the purple in this. It's got a purple flash in it. Oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that purple flash. Purple pinky flash, I guess you should I should say. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so, I can't wait to try this brand. It's just, they just seem to be beautiful, beautiful polishes. This one is from the same collection, I believe it's called Kokomo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Like a peachy, nudie color. Very, very pretty. I think this one's just a cream. So that is Kokomo. I think I'm saying that right, hopefully. This right here, oh, what is this? It says, I included three of my favorite Lily Ann's garden products. Her products are magic. The cuticle oil is polyjuice potion. A little goes a long way. The tube is her solid lotion and I use this all over and some cuticle balm. So this little thing was cuticle balm, is right? <laughs> so what is this that she said here? Oh, this is, I remember her mentioning this in her, her care video. It's like a, oh, it's like a roll up balm type thing. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. 
I could I could smell that all day. That smells so good. I'm looking forward to trying these, um, Christine, because my skin is so dry all the time. I keep breaking out in eczema, and when I break out in eczema, it really damages my nails, unfortunately, because my eczema is generally on my hands and my fingertips. So I had a really bad breakout a couple of months ago, and it really, really hurt my nails, and they're just finally getting back to a nice length and um, looking in, in good condition, finally. So hopefully this will help too. I'll put, I'll put this into my routine and hopefully it will help me as well. So I'm looking forward to giving this a try. <clears throat> this, I think this must be the cuticle oil that goes with it. So this one, it says polyjuice potion on the side, like our notes in. It's kind of hard, again, to describe what it smells like, but I really am looking forward to giving these Lily Ann's garden products a try. Thank you so much for sending those to me because um, if, if I could get my nails to look anything like yours, I would be very happy. <laughs> so this is, and there's no note on this one, so let's see what this one is. Oh, it's another Never Enough. And this is called Unicorn Poison. Wow, this is gorgeous. I think Claire Gray would love this. This is like a deep foresty green with some hollow running through it. This is absolutely gorgeous. I This I'm going to rock in the fall. This looks like a beautiful fall, fall shade. Thank you so much. I, I can't wait to try the Never Enough polishes too. So this is looks like another stashed polish and this is called Key Largo. This again is from that same collection. It's a green holographic. This shade of green I am loving right now this time of year and that holographic, just look at that. Look at that holographic. I'm so excited to try this brand. I don't know which one I'm gonna try first. There's so many nice ones to choose from. <laughs> so this is Key Largo from Stash Polish. Always wanted to go to the Florida Keys. It looks so pretty there. Okay, this one again is from the Stash Polish collection, and this is Bahamas, and this looks like a nice sandy beach type color, like a nudie taupe. And I think this one is a cream as well. That collection was, um, I think it was half creams and half holo sh holographic shimmer polishes. So that is Bahamas from Stash Polish. Next note says, you mentioned you only had one Kiwi shimmer cream. Here's a couple more for your collection because her creams are incredible. I have to agree, the cream that I have from her is amazing. So I've, I've, I love, I love KB Shimmer as a brand, you guys know that. And this just looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> this is called How Low Can You Flamingo? And this is a nice hot pink cream from KB Shimmer. This looks absolutely gorgeous. My camera is kind of freaking out. The white balance is <laughs> not picking up the right color for this. Uh, as most neons do with my camera, I think I need to invest in a better camera <laughs> at some point. Um, but I'm looking forward to definitely trying this neon from Kiwi Shimmer. This one is another one from Kiwi Shimmer. It's called Playing with the Buoys, Boys. And this looks like a minty blue-green cream. Nice springy color. Again, I look forward to trying this. Thank you so much. And I think this is the last thing. Oh, wait, what's this here? Mermaid vinyls and some HP water slide decals. I recommend using the decals over light or white colors. If you need help, let me know. I probably will need help because I've never used anything like this before. <laughs> I will probably be calling, calling for your help. Look at these Harry Potter decals. They're so cute. Harry's birthday is coming up. I could do a Harry Potter manicure. Hmm, that's a good thought. Yeah, I will probably be um, hitting up your Instagram for some help on these because I've never used them before. Uh, what else do we got here? We got a stashed polish. Um, 
magnet, which I'm going to throw on my Helmer, and then a couple of business cards for stash polish. And I will definitely be ordering from them too because their polishes just look absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like the last one in here says, birthday polish for the birthday girl. I live for this polish. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I can see the logo. My god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's a vapid. <laughs> it is birthday bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I have no vapids and I have been stalking their website for about three months and I really want to pick up their stuff but I have been on buying other things. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I have vapid. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I really don't know what to say, I'm speechless. Thank you so much, Christine. Um, not only for this package, but for your friendship. I really have enjoyed getting to know you over the past couple of months. Um, there's a reason I call you my soul sister, because you're just, you have a beautiful soul and you're just a wonderful person. So thank you so much, Christine, for this gift. I really, I really am speechless. Thank you so, so much. Um, I'm going to leave all of Christine's information down below. Please go check her out. Show her some love on her Instagram and on her, on her YouTube channel. She is taking a little bit of a break right now, but she will be back soon with some wonderful content. Um, just, I don't know what else to say. I'm just so blown away by your generosity. So thank you so much. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will talk to you, Christine, very, very soon. And I will talk to the rest of you very soon as well. Thanks guys, bye.